Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this video, we want to take a quick moment to talk about sub-assets. Now, sub-assets are simply clones of the main assets that you bring into your game. So here on the left-hand side, I have my main assets, which are my characters, my objects, power-ups, and then the actual instances of those used in the game, in my scene, are sub-assets. So this box is a sub-asset, this box is a sub-asset, and even this character is a sub-asset of the main character. And you can see all of those sub-assets here in this tree view. The same is true for background images. You can see all of the background images listed here, and they're all individual sub-assets used in the scene. Each sub-asset can have different properties. So if I select this box, I can scale this box up, and you can see the properties over here for this box, including the scale. So if I check out this other box next to it, this other sub-asset, you can see the scale here differs from the scale on the large box. So this is 0.66 versus 0.4, and the position differs as well. Subassets can have different appearance properties and also different function properties. Up here in the options bar, we have presets available to help you get your subasset set up correctly. So here I've got a box selected. I could set this up as a platform. I could set this up as a physics object. I could even set this up as an enemy. And you can just use the preset that is most applicable to the subasset that you're working with. I'll leave this as a platform for now, and next we have the object type. We can choose whether this is a fixed object or a physics object. Fixed objects will stay where you initially put them while physics objects will adhere to the physics in the game. Let me show you. I'll get these two boxes which look the same and I'll move them up quickly here. I'll set one of these boxes to be a physics object and I'll set the other box here to be a fixed object. Let's see what happens when we preview this. You'll notice the box that was set as a physics object falls, and that's because it's adhering to the physics of the game. It's adhering to gravity, while the fixed object just remains in place. We'll explore some more advanced options for sub-assets in our next video. Thanks for watching.